What's going on, fellas? You guys see the title of the video. And I'm going to get right into it. I told you guys this was coming. I told you guys that for us brothers who travel across the world, they do not like seeing this. They don't. Case in point, we have one Mr. Angel Ramirez, okay? And you guys see the title of the video, and, and I'm going to link it at the bottom. It's titled, For Black Men Thinking About Traveling to Latin America to Meet Women. And I'm not going to personally attack Mr. Ramirez. He's, he's entitled to his own opinion. But I'm going to come back with my opinion and my criticisms <clears throat> for, to this video. Okay. Now, let me explain something. So as you guys know, I haven't lived in America in over 10 years. All right. I've, uh, I've, I've visited frequently since then. I'm understanding the dating game in America has changed significantly. Okay. The advent of social media, Instagram, and all these dating apps, uh, it has made it even increasingly more difficult uh, to date women uh, that you feel that you should that you could normally get. You know, um, for instance, you got Instagram models uh, who, you know, now they have access to a, a, a plethora of different guys, and I am not against that. Okay, we have to understand how the game is being played. Uh, the the rules have changed. Mostly, most of these attractive women are are having guys in their inboxes that are football players, rappers, baseball players. I know one personally who she has a huge. She's a very attractive woman, and she has a lot of guys on her, like uh, top tier guys, and she's and they're just running through her. Like every other month, she has a new boyfriend that's. A NBA player one month, a couple months later, now she's with an NFL player. This is what's going on with these high tier, quote unquote, high tier women in America. Okay. Now, I'll tell you guys the truth. All right. So when I lived in America, I didn't really have any issues dating women. So I'm not here to bash uh, American women. Okay. We just have to understand how the game is being played. And living in England, living, going to all these different countries, I see things a lot differently uh, from the outside looking in. Okay. Now, in the video, uh, Mr. Ramirez mentioned that brothers who go to uh, Latin America and they think the girls like them that the women really don't like you. All they see is dollar signs. That was one of his arguments. And I'm going to come back and say, what do women in America see? <laughs> okay. I mean, this, let's just be honest here. Most of these high tier women, your most attractive women are not going for just an average guy. And even now, you have guys that, that can make potentially $100,000, $200,000 a year, and they still really can't land a, a really attractive woman, okay? Because she has options, okay? She has upper echelon options, all right? So now we know what, we know what women want, okay? We understand hypergamy. Women are attracted to men that, that are... Um, uh, financially successful okay they want that's what women want they want a man that's financially secure the most attractive women are going to be able to net the 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 highest earners okay women are attracted to successful men we get that i don't there's nothing wrong with that okay on the flip side men are mostly when they're looking for a woman they want someone that's very very attractive okay so why not go to where all the most attractive women are. If we already know all women across the world practice hypergamy or hypergamy, I'm sorry. If they practice it, 
we'll, we'll uh, let's at least go to where the most attractive women are. Okay, let's not waste our time in the states um, fighting over getting upset over women that's being passed around by these football players and these basketball players and these rappers. Let's just exit the game. It's that simple. Okay? It doesn't make sense to spend your time and energy chasing women who really don't care about you. They really are not, you're not their target. Okay? So, a man like Angel Ramirez should be teaching men and telling men to, hey, explore your options. Travel the world. See what's out there. You know what I'm saying? Like, understand what options you have as a man in America. You guys don't understand. Angel does not understand how powerful um, your status is being an American. And, and this is just not black men this is all all american men you guys do not understand your value when you look at it on a world level okay and that's something angel won't tell you he's telling guys to just stay in america and and deal with with the women there and, and you know and find you a good girl there but we don't want to do that okay we want to explore our options and there's nothing wrong with that now he mentioned something else that i that uh, I question. He said, well, you know, you can't bring the women back to America because if you bring them back, then they're just going to uh, fix, find out just how basic you are in America and they're going to leave you. Okay. And this is something that a lot of guys bring up. And my question is, why would you want to bring her back anyway? <laughs> Why would I want to move if I'm if I'm in Brazil, okay, or Colombia? Why would I want to come back to America? Why? Okay, that's why I teach you guys, man. Invest your money, stack your money up. Okay, stack your money up, get your investments going. Let's start thinking about uh, e-commerce type business where you can self-sustain and live in these different countries. Colombia is super cheap. You can live in Colombia for thirteen hundred dollars a month. Okay, comfortable. Brazil is a little bit more. Okay. And 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 this is the first wave. They shaming us now. Oh, you're only going to these countries for this reason, or you you guys know what I'm you know what I'm saying. There's a sex tourism, or some or something to that effect. No, that is not the case. We want to be we want to be surrounded by abundance of beautiful women because that's what men want. We want beautiful women. Okay? We want to be surrounded by beautiful women. We want our options. Okay? Now, let's be fair that there's some guys that go out and they play the field while they're in these countries, but the guys who I know who frequent these countries eventually settle down. They have their fun and they settle down. Okay? We know men have fun. Okay, there's men that have fun uh, in America. They have men and women. They're having fun on Tinder. We know what Tinder is. So if you're going to have fun, at least have fun where all the beautiful beautiful women are. I, I mean, it's, it's very simple. Okay? That's what this is about. Okay? Yes, you're going to get hate. People are going to judge. But who cares? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't. And you shouldn't either. And this is from a guy who I was, like I said, I was not struggling in America when it comes to dating. If I know if I go back now, it may take some time, but I can probably get me an attractive girl in the States. That's not hard. But why would I do that when I know I can just go to Colombia or Brazil or any of these uh, European countries or in Asia and land a baddie in a day or two because they're in abundance. We want to have that abundance mindset and we want to position ourselves in a, pay, in a place that has an abundance amount of beautiful women. Okay? A beautiful woman, if she's beautiful, check. Okay, now let's see how her personality is. We know what time it is. There's, that's just the way the game is. Okay? Women in the States, what they look for. Okay, he has a status. Okay, good. He's secure. 
All right, now okay, now let's see how his personality is. Okay, good. His personality is good. Well, let's see how attractive he is. We've seen it. You've seen all these super fine, attractive girls in the States. And this is just a Western mentality is that they look for status first. And then, so you see, oh, wow, this girl, this beautiful girl is with this ugly guy, you know. That's that's our mentality in the States. They, we look at looks, okay. And you see, you sometimes you will see a very attractive girl with a not so attractive guy, but he has a status, you know what I'm saying? He's making a lot of money. He's an owner or something. You know, he could be a football player, a basketball player, but it doesn't matter. Okay? It's the same thing in these different countries when you go there. You have status. Okay? Th that's what that's what that's what we want. That's not a bad thing, okay? Is the woman using you in in the in, in the Colombia? I mean, that's up for debate. I don't think so. Okay? Because if you think about it, in the States, you meet, a, 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 if a guy, let's use Shaquille O'Neal, for example. Shaquille O'Neal nets a beautiful girl, okay? He's, he's only, the only reason why Shaquille O'Neal is dating her is because she's super fine. And the only reason why she's dating Shaquille O'Neal is because he's a retired basketball player. So we, we're balanced out. Now let's balance it in Colombia, me and you. Us brothers, let's balance it in Brazil. She's with you because you're an American and you're different. She's something you're not something she's she's used to, and you're with her because she's a badass Brazilian. And she's stupid fine. It works itself out. But they don't want they don't they're not happy with that. Okay? People the you, Mr. Ramirez and his followers are not happy with that. Okay? They telling you that you're wrong. That, oh, you only going to this country for this. <laughs> Come on, man. Let's let's let let's let's keep it real here. All right. So, brothers, take your time, stack your money up, get out of debt, start investing your money, start making moves overseas, bro. Because I'm telling you right now, America is not where it is when it comes to dating. It is when you you're talking to a guy that's been all over the world okay and i'm telling you guys that if you have not been to any of these countries that i've been to in my videos you're you're truly missing out okay come to england if you don't believe me go to poland if you don't believe me go to ukraine if you don't believe me go to romania if you don't believe me go to prague if you don't believe me go to fucking brazil Thailand, Philippines, Cambodia, Japan. I'm telling you, the dating scene in America is not what it is, bro. We need to spread out because there's not enough representation for us overseas. And brothers are out here living a best life. And it's just not brothers too. All American dudes are out here living their best life. I know guys who are going to Thailand, finding their wives. I know guys that are going to the Philippines that found their wife. Italy. I talked to a guy today. His wife is Italian. I mean, come on, man. All right. Let's, let's let's spread out and let's not spread out. And this is one thing that I don't do. I do not bash. Let's not bash uh, women in America. We're not. That's not what we're here for. We're not here to bash. We're not here to bash a certain race of women. Uh, we're not here to talk down on them or demean them or anything like that. Leave them where they are. Let them be. But you, brother, come to me. Come overseas, okay? Leave them where they are out of full respect. Don't say anything negative about them because it's, you know. Here's, here, I'm going to leave you guys with this analogy before I go. And this is a perfect analogy, okay? You American guys, picture America as a restaurant, okay? Now, this is a restaurant you've been going to your whole life, okay? You've been going to this restaurant You've been getting the same food, the same service. Okay, that's it. All right? Now, let's say you go to Brazil. You go to the Brazilian restaurant. All right? The service is better. The food is good. And the price is way cheaper. Okay? So, you got all of these 
all of these pluses on the, for this restaurant, why would you go back to the other restaurant? Why would you go back to the American restaurant? If you already been to the Brazilian restaurant and it has everything you need, the food is much better. You know what I'm saying? It's leaner, more healthy. Okay. The prices is very comparable because your money stretches very long in Brazil and you get the best service of your life. Okay. That's how it is in a nutshell when you go to these different countries, but you would never know that there's these other restaurants are better unless you try them. So that's what I'm saying. Men, if you use your options, okay, go out there and find out, travel the world and see which restaurant you like the best. Okay. Now there's quite a few restaurants that I love and I've mentioned them several times in my videos. Okay. We're not saying America's restaurant is bad. We're just saying that there's a lot of better ones. Okay. It's that simple. All right. You guys have a happy Wednesday. Um, I'm going to get out. Please like, share, comment, subscribe in this video. Let me know what you think. And you guys have a good day. Peace. Let's go.